All right, we gotta run into town. We're gonna do a little e-waste recycling and then get some chocolate. Pretty simple. But I figured if it's a run into town, why not speed it up with some uh, electrical assist? Let me see how quick it is to blast through this. So, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, you just need, okay, come on. I wonder what you do with this one thing. Uh, pretty straightforward. Fun fact, this building right here, this is Chris King. Yeah. Wait for it. Boom. See the, see the hub? Hello, delicious components creator. Ski bum delight. Oh, I'm so impressed by this. Through the wheel, through the triangle. This is an adorable little thing. It matches the dropper on this guy. Look at how small it is. This is drinking chocolate. It's basically like condensed chocolate milk. Wow. Oh my God, that's intense. This is like a shot of espresso made out of chocolate. Woo! Giddy up. So let's look at it and see how. <laughs> Oh my God, this is about as much as you can handle. Oh my God, it's like drinking syrup in the best way possible. More please. I figured I'm in the neighborhood. I like your shoes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. West End Bikes coming through yet again. If you're in Portland, check them out. They've got tons of knowledge and a massive selection of beautiful bikes. Uh, but honestly, lifesavers, those guys. Fender Wizards to the max. Now we just gotta blast home real quick and uh, call it a day to start the rest of our day. To, uh, never mind. Not even a global pandemic can stop the bludgeoning growth of Portland, Oregon. Oh, that one had bike stickers on it. <laughs> one thing that is very true about this bike, it doesn't want to stop. I mean, it can stop, but when I'm riding the bike, I don't want to stop ever. It's like messenger vibes times 60%. <laughs> that color though. We are full gas, no brakes. Juan has a strict no dirty 30 clause in his contract. He hates this road, I understand. While I, on the other half, have an exclusive Dirty 30 clause and ride it as much as I possibly can. Not by choice. Kind of interesting fun fact about the Turbo Creo space bike. It maxes out at 28. When on the flats, that's never a problem for me. <laughs> but going down with a little descent, if you're pushing it, once you hit 28, you're just back to normal bike vibes, which is interesting, I don't know. Maybe I'll mess with it at some point, but I don't really care right now. Oh, he's a buddy. He's a baby. Oh my God. This thing is so much fun to blast around the city in. Hell, this thing's so much fun to blast around everything in. Man, zippity doo I still broke a little bit of sweat, but nothing compared to if I just had to slog the whole thing on my own. Game changer. Hey, shout out to West End Bikes for helping me with this crazy fender experience. We'll see if I can get them to fit with these big fatty 38s. I... And the commute, super powered by the numbers. One hour, 13 minutes, 
19 miles and 531 sensible feet of elevation. That's a chore run right there. That's how long it takes me to go into town and back. Much respect to you for hanging out. Thanks for joining me on this little experience. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and check out the Everything's Been Done gear shop. We've got all your fanciful needs. Until next time, dear friend, this is Dustin Klein, signing off. Ah, it's so pretty. It's dirty, but pretty.